Hi to all. Today we will discuss uh, six problems from uh, U.S. Uh, Physics Olympiad 2009, U.S.A. PHO from the last round semifinal. It, it consisted from uh, part A, which had uh, four problems, and uh, part B from two problems. For part A, there were given 90 minutes, and for part B, there were 90 minutes too. So, before we uh, discuss all these uh, six problems, please uh, subscribe my channel. In that case, you will get uh, all problems uh, for all years. Thank you. Now, part A, problem A1. A hollow cylinder has a length L, radius R and a thickness D, where a L much greater than R, much greater than D, and is uh, made of a material with a resistivity rho. A time varying current I flows uh, through the cylinder in the tangential direction, as in a picture. Assume the current is always uniformly distributed along the length of the cylinder. The cylinder is uh, fixed so that it cannot move. Assume that there are no externally generated magnetic fields during the time considered for the problems below. Question A. What is the magnetic field strength B? inside the cylinder in terms of I, the dimensions of a cylinder, and fundamental constants. B. Relate the EMF E developed along the circumference of the cylinder to the rate of a change of the current dI over dt, the dimensions of the cylinder and the fundamental constants. C. Relate E to the current I, the resistivity rho and the dimensions of the cylinder. D. The current at uh, T equals zero is uh, I zero. What is the current uh, I as a function of time for T greater than zero? Solution. Question A. What is the magnetic field strength B inside the cylinder in terms of I, the dimensions of cylinder and the fundamental constants? Uh, our cylinder uh, looks like solenoid and we can count the magnetic field inside as a magnetic field for solenoid. Well, let's do the same. Uh, picture as for solenoid. That's the picture. Suppose that the current on the upper side is going uh, inside the page and the current on the bottom side is going outside the page. Now we can uh, use uh, Ampere law to count what is a magnetic field outside and uh, what is magnetic field inside of such a cylinder. This is the Ampere law, and uh, we can use it in our case. Suppose that we want to count what is a magnetic field outside our uh, cylinder. Because uh, due to symmetry, this magnetic field must uh, be parallel to horizont, and uh, it must be constant in uh, any direction and it can depend only from a uh, distance uh, from this uh, cylinder. Suppose that here on this uh, line we have magnetic field B2 and here is B1. So according to this Ampere law, we have to multiply uh, one part by uh, B2 multiplied by uh, length L and the subtract B1 multiplied by length L. And uh, 
that must be equal to mu zero multiplied by current which is going through this figure. But uh, there is a zero current through this figure. So it means that B1 must be equal to B2. But uh, if they are equal to each other, it means that magnetic field outside is constant. But it cannot be constant. It should uh, decrease with the distance. So it means that the magnetic field is zero. Now let's count uh, what is the uh, magnetic field inside of this uh, cylinder. We can use the same formula for ampere law. And now we can see that uh, due to symmetry we have a magnetic field inside of this cylinder the same on this uh, on, uh, on this line. And we can just uh, multiply this magnetic field by uh, a length of this cylinder L. And that must be equal to mu zero multiplied by current I. Because this current I going through this uh, figure. So from this formula we can find what is magnetic field in any point of this uh, cylinder. So magnetic field equal to this expression is for regular solenoid. That was the answer for question A. Now let's answer question B. Relate the EMF de developed along the circumference of the cylinder to the rate of uh, change of the current di over dt, the dimensions of the cylinder, and the fundamental constants. Let's uh, write this uh, formula. And now, because uh, we have uniform magnetic field inside the, of this cylinder, we have a magnetic flux equal just uh, this uh, magnetic field multiplied by cross-section which is uh, pi mu zero r square i over L. And now we can find what is the inductance of this uh, cylinder L. This is the expression for inductance. And now we can find the what is EMF created by uh, change of uh, current. That will be this expression for EMF, which is equal negative uh, L inductance multiplied by di over dt. And that's the answer for question B. Question C. Relate EMF to the current I, the resistivity rho, and the dimensions of the cylinder. Now uh, we can uh, describe this uh, EMF uh, using regular Ohm law. According to Ohm law we have uh, EMF equal current multiplied by resistance and the resistance we can find from regular formula that it's equal to uh, resistivity multiplied by length and divided by cross-section area. In our case that will be length uh, 2 pi r small divided by L multiplied by D. That's a cross-section for our cylinder. And the uh, EMF could be rewritten like this. This is the uh, equation for EMF for uh, part C. And now we have a uh, last uh, question. Is uh, the current at the time T equals zero is uh, Ti zero. What is the current uh, as a function of time. To answer for this question we can just combine the, this expression for EMF with this expression and that they will give us a differential equation. This one and now we can rewrite in, in a simple form where a coefficient alpha equal this expression. And that's a simple differential equation which has a solution for uh, initial current I0 like this. This is the uh, answer for question D where coefficient alpha equal this one. So we got all these uh, four answers.